Hi there. Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson. Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. Yeah, for all of us. Jack? Jack? I'm getting worried. Where are you? Jack? I'm here, Mama. Where have you been? I've been real worried. You always worry, Mama, and I'm always fine. Don't take that tone with me. Sorry, Mama. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loan it. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. How's the invalid? I'm okay. Well, good. Easy, whoa. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. I'm here on behalf of Leopold Strauss. Where's our money? Ah, ah, uh, uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh, I don't have money. God 
Damn it, you don't speak English, do you? Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. God damn it, you have a debt to Herr Strauss. Pay up. Stop! You stay, I'm Shiwi. Yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. You must have come here with something. Something somewhere. The longer I look, the madder I get. Speak English. Yeah, very valuable, good? Not good yet. What you got behind there? So, uh, surprise, I mean, you know, me. Move aside. Just like I'm not going to touch. I'm not going to touch. What do we have here? My old brooch, can you? Just keep quiet. I need, I must eat, Prosho. Okay, that should about cover things.
Easy now. Yep, yep. Uh. Ah! Old Dodge's chain, Sally! Run him down! What now? Uh, Aren't you a tough, huh? Yeah. anything about death? I didn't mention the death, Chick Matthews. Come back here. So long, Long Shark. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, get back here. You owe us money. Yeah. Come on.
but it's hidden. Untie me, and I'll tell you where it is. Get the rope off already. Goddamn treasure hunt? You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. This is uh, very kind of you. <laughs> you got the map. Do the decent thing. Well, aren't you going to untie me? Blow me down. You're all right, boy. Hold on.
Calm down, we. Hey, you don't belong here. You want to leave? Mister, I'm about hey, done. Hey, get yourself life. gone from here. You don't. All right then. Yeah. Out there. Shit. Mister? Yeah. Oh, poor thing. Poor thing. Come here. Come here. Oh, kid. Mm. Lord have mercy! Yep. Good girl.
Looking for friends out on the road. All right. Oh, there's something wrong with you, ain't that right? Get count. You got seconds left to live. <laughs> you better thank your stars I didn't empty your brain. Hey there, partner. Cussed bastard. I'm only joking with you. Lily Millet, you know where she is? She's with Cooper over by the store. I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say? Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder. Son of a bitch.
Mister. What's wrong? Thought you'd be happy to be off that mountain. Okay, though, I dealt with it. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know.
mister. Look out! Welcome, friend. Good on you. Get a fresh start. See you around. Beating up half the saloon like that? Come on, there's gotta be a fight every night in that shithole. Just show some respect next time. We've run far worse than you out of town before. Oh, come on, man. If someone throws a punch, you punch back. Don't bother <laughs> pretending different. As far as I care, you ain't even here. Good to see you again, partner. What can I do for you? Uh-huh, go ahead. Could go for some poker. Perhaps you could join me later in Smithfields. Well, all right. This will be here when you need it. Hey, beautiful condition. Keep it up. You know what? Bet you you could use some rifling on this thing. That's great. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. Now I've had my fair share. Thanks. Well, look here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. 
You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive. I got it. Okay, boy. Let's go. Evening. Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I, I heard him. Uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh! Well, if that's the case... If it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> what? Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. Taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Oh, partner, that's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This, this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. 
I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, 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 you saved me! Now come on, buddy, let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for questioning. Oh, hey, you saved my life! <laughs> Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping! I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump! Oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me, no! Please. I'll take my chance. Come here! Uh, bye, friend! Oh, really do not like you. Now, come on! from exposure. Suffer a little longer. Oh. Oh. I seem to keep blacking out. Oh. Uh, you do seem to keep blacking out. isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Why, who made you judge? <laughs> I'm only in it for the money. I don't understand you anymore, and that's the truth. Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. 
Mrs. Caldor, would you just leave? Sure. We. Oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. But I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sure, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Please, remember what I told you. Oh, it's, uh, you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A bath, perhaps? Welcome. Seems everyone with a rifle been hunting these of late. Good enough. Much appreciated. Lightens my load. Thanks, partner. Welcome back, mister. Got everything you need. Have a look. Sure, I'm always willing to stock up.
I get all kinds of coots come in here. That's something. Everything in that is available for purchase. Good doing business with you. And that should be good. Thanks for your assistance. Someone's gonna get hurt for sure. Hmm. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, never mind. Right here, I should have never got off the horse. But even worse, I should have never started <laughs> what I started. I think my horse got diarrhea. Man, I was wondering where that thing went.
called you a woman killer, Why not a you turncoat. Your own go, brother? Huh? Taking this one in, stay out of our way. <laughs> yep. I'm a good man. <laughs> What's possessed you? You got a problem? What's the deal? Whatever do you want? <coughs> oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Certainly, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. <coughs> Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. The money. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. Pay the money, you'll make this stop. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him. You took the money. He wants it back. What's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of <coughs> charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money.
Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Why don't you cook yourself? Do us all a favor. Swanson. Morning, Mr. Morgan.
How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just hey. keep your eye. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's going to remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to try them publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. We can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess we need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. And those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Idiot! Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the... Ah! We're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So... You've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? Quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. your binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing with. Yeah.
So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Quietly, if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Excuse me, dear brothers. My wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? They stay out of sight. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Okay, come on. Word. Stay low. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose... God damn it, Arthur! A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Okay, let's get after him. Halfway up the canyon to deal with. We're gonna have to shoot. Oh, 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 oh,
game, Arthur. Hey, what are y'all doing? Hey, someone cut this rope. Me head's killing me. Arthur. <laughs> You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <coughs> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <coughs> I imagine y'all miss me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now.
What can I do for you? Read about the whole thing from the Leviticus Cornwall train robbers! Afraid me. Hello, sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang. It's called Modrisco. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Let me out of here, you maggots! Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you Swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works.
Yes. Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Showed him, and I'll show the rest of this town. You have really 
Keep shooting! Don't give up on me now! Reckon it's time we got out of here, Morgan. Now you want to get out of here? to you. What the hell was that? You... Pull back there. Got a bit wild, all right. Wow. Making a house call in the middle. Of all that, ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Someone. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me, sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp around back of Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a... Peace offering. Bye now. Yeah. All right, guys. That's it for part three of chapter two. I'll see you guys in the next one. I think uh, just one more part for chapter two, and we should be good to go. All right. Yep. Peace. Take care. Change your underwear. Bye.